Hello, I'm Jennifer Topney. I'm a team vicar in the Vale of Pusey Tea. As a church at St John's, we started thinking about environmental issues with the Carbon Fast 4040 uh, challenge in Lent 2014. And as a PCC, we decided to adopt and promote this in the church um, for people to think about their own lifestyles during Lent. But it also got us thinking as a PCC in a church about our energy use and, and environmental issues. But with the Carbon Fast, we invited the chair of the local environment group, Pete Pusey Environmental Action Team, to come and speak on Sunday morning about environmental issues and climate change and how people can uh, make an impact in their own lives. My name is David Hodgson and I am an assistant church warden at St John's. Yes, the parsonage was actually fitted solar panels uh, earlier this year, uh, but we had discussed this at PCC about solar panels for the church. It was decided that we could uh, change our energy to a green energy. Um, the treasurer was able to uh, alter our suppliers um, as soon as possible. To reduce our carbon footprint, we decided to fit the church with LED lighting, which reduces the electricity costs and uh, has a green footprint. My name is Charmian Spickanell, and I'm a member of the congregation at St. John's. Uh, Fusey people are very caring and we're very conscious of our carbon footprint and we have a chemical free uh, wildlife area around the church. Um, we have a, a, a fair trade stall. A lot of people help to, with car sharing to bring elderly people to church and we also have recyclable uh, cups with, for coffee and tea. At St John's in Pusey, we've made some small steps and we hope it will inspire you that uh, you can start on this journey and do get in touch if you'd like uh, support or ideas. Hello, I'm Alison Francis and I'm the chair of the environmental group at Wimborne Minster in Dorset. We've been on a journey for about 10 years since we first formed the group. And during that time, we have twice applied for the Eco Congregation Awards and achieved those. And now we are completing the survey for Eco Church Award, the new one. In our worship, we sometimes have a particular focus on the environment um, and in music as well. We also this year ran a little project called Seeds for Harvest, when people were given packets of seeds to go away and grow and bring the produce back at harvest time. God's Acre is part of our churchyard which is being kept as um, a wildlife area and it has recently been awarded a gold award through the Living Churchyard Project. I'm Mike Lunt, I'm a member of the Minster Environmental Group and my main role within the group has been to look at the energy that the Minster is using and to monitor the usage every month. We're, we're trying to reduce the gas consumption, but this has proved difficult. One thing we're looking forward to doing is to be able to move more towards green gas. And we're hoping that will be possible through the big church switch, because I know that some of the suppliers through that do supply a proportion of their gas as green gas. We've had a couple of joint meetings with uh, a local church, St. John's. The first, we invited Sir John Horton, who used to be chair of the intergovernmental panel on climate change and we had about almost 400 people to that meeting. Okay. The second joint meeting um, we invited Ruth Valerio, a member of Arosha, to talk about an environmental Christian lifestyle. Before the Paris conference we organized a petition which we were able to give to the local MP and in order to help get signatures for that we had an event on the Minster Green where we had polar bears uh, we had people in polar bear costumes, we had activities for children, and we had a polar bear ice sculpture. 
all of which created a lot of interest, enabled us to get signatures for a petition, which, as I said, the MP came at the end of the event and we were able to present him with the petition. If you'd like to join us and walk down this road with us, then do get in touch yes, with Wimborne Minster. We'd be very glad to help you in any way.